Oh, I think I got one. Yeah, I got one. Oh, it's a really nice one. That's a really good one. 16 inches? Yeah, dude. Nice, that's massive. Beautiful fish. Love the patterns on them. All those checkery spots. Let's plop them in. There we go. Right. There we go. There it is. It? Yeah, I got it. Nice. Let's go. Oh, look at that jump. Come on. Come on. Just look how beautiful that is. Oh, it's still running. Okay, yeah, he's just lifting the corner right here. Let me see if I can just get it out really quick. And then just gently push him back. And I'm splashed. No, the other way. Sir, I am not doing this right at all. Okay, there you go. Goodbye, Mr. Trout. I think I got some more nibbles. It looks like it's wiggling. Oh no. Yeah, he's on, he's fighting back. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a really good one. Dude, how big is that? That's a monster. Look at that tank. Look at that, guys. Massive catfish boy. Into the live well. Does it even fit? I don't know. He barely fits. All right, first fish of the day. A nice trout for Jesse. He didn't even say anything. And he actually uh, ate the bait. Probably happened super quick, huh? I was just looking over and suddenly there's a fish. I heard some flopping. How big do you think he is? Uh, I think it's about a pound. Very nice, look at that. Beautiful stock rainbow trout. Let's freaking go. Oh, I think I got one. Yeah, I got one. We had to drag pretty loose though. Oh, it's a really nice one. That's a really good one. 16 inches? Yeah, dude. Nice, that's massive. I'll take it. it. Looks like this guy broke off someone else's. There's a gut shot hook in here. There you go, the hook's out. Nice, let's freaking go. Look at that, my first, ow, ow, ow. Look at that, my first trout ever. Beautiful fish. Love the patterns on them. All those checkery spots. Let's plop them in. There we go. That might be the biggest one we got so far. All right, let's catch another. Nice, fish on. That's a nice one. That's a very nice one. On worms for Jesse. What's up, Angler Sanglets? It's your boy Sven, and welcome back to my channel. I'm out here with my boy Jesse. And we're doing some trout fishing over here at Silverwood Lake. So as I mentioned before, I never freshwater fish. Jesse was kind enough to take me out here and show me the ropes. He is the master for the day. He's gonna teach me everything I need to know. It's a beautiful day, very cold though. Sun's just hiding behind the clouds over there. Actually, before we get back into it, let's just take a little time to enjoy the beautiful scenery. Look at that. It's so nice out here right now. Honestly, couldn't ask for a better day of fishing. We already have three nice sized trout in the little basket over there. It's already a super awesome day for fishing, but enough duping around. Let's bait back up and see what else we can catch. But before we get started, as usual, we gotta talk a little bit about safety. The only thing I can really super recommend is just make sure you have good shoes so you don't slip. The weather is also extremely cold. Bring a good amount of warm clothing, gloves too if you need it. Especially if you're coming out here to fish for trout like in the way morning. I think my car was registering at like 40 degrees, pretty cold. Warriors would also be pretty helpful if you wanna walk out into the water a little bit. Probably keep you a lot warmer as well. So for trout fishing, you wanna go pretty light on your gear. My main line is still 20 pound braid like I normally use except we're using a Carolina rig and the leader is six pound fluoro and at the end I got a little dinky size 10 hook. Since I don't ever freshwater fish, Jesse was nice enough to provide everything that I'm going to be using today. We're using the power bait in garlic. Works really well, as far as I could tell. Jesse says it's a pretty good one. It's his favorite. I take his word for it. Just scoop out a tiny little piece like this. This is about the size of a pea. Then just kind of mold it right onto the hook. Make sure it's on there pretty good. 
It's not super secure, but it's enough for a bite. Casting distance, also not very sure, but I caught that guy maybe like five or 10 feet in front of me. So just gonna throw it back out there. That's a lot farther than I normally had it. I'm just gonna reel it in a little bit. Once you're in a good spot, tighten the slack and then it's just as bait and weight over at the surf. What is it? Are you stuck now? Is it still fighting? What the heck? Oh, it's a fish. Oh, no, it is a trout. It looks like it. Very nice. Look at that. That one's massive. That was such a weird bite. Ah, oh, look how beautiful he is. What bait with that one? You don't even remember. Fifteen? Yeah, fifteen. That's close to mine. A little smaller. <laughs> yeah, barely though. That's a nice one. Good catch, man. Yeah, for sure. Another one into the live well. All right, let's freaking go. So it's been about an hour or two since we caught anything. That one kind of just came out of nowhere. Not even sure what happened. You know, it just wouldn't fight. Very silly. Glad the sun is more out though. It's starting to feel a little bit more comfortable. It was so cold when we got here. I can finally feel my hands again. Oh, well, there goes the birds, scaring away all my fish. For fishing giggles, I have an aquarium thermometer. Right now, it looks like it's reading maybe like 55, but it was in my bag. I'm gonna leave it in a shady spot somewhere and we'll check on it in a bit. Yep, looks like it's about 50 degrees in the shade. Definitely bring warm clothing if you're gonna go fishing somewhere super cold. Actually, I should probably check the temperature of the water. That's the whole point of it. It's meant for water. That's just Plopia right there. I think I got a bite. I just casted it out too. I saw a fish splash over there. Yep, that's a bite. Hello, Mr. Fishy. There we go. There it is. Yeah, I got it. Nice. Let's go. Oh, look at that jump. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's running. Nice! And look how beautiful that is! Oh, it's still running. I don't want to take him out of the water. With all the excitement of catching my first trout, I forgot that I always release the first one. So I'm going to let this one go with trout. You want to make sure you wet your hands before you handle them. Okay, yeah, he just lived in the corner right here. Let me see if I can just get it out really quick. Okay, now I'm just going to wet hands and then just gently push him back. And I'm splashed. No, nope, the other way. Sir, I am not doing this right at all. Okay, there you go. Goodbye, Mr. Trout. All right, let's rebait and see if we can catch another one. I was about to rebait and I just noticed he bent the hook. That guy was massive. That was a really good fight. Trout fishing is so fun. Oh yeah, I forgot. I had this in the water. Let's see what the temperature's at. Huh, it's skirting around 60. Warmer than the air right now. And this one I can trust, it's meant for water. So I saw the fish jump about 20 feet out. I'm gonna go ahead and cast back in the same area. Trout can school together, so sometimes there's a couple more around. Let's just see. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the drag a little bit as well. Plop it down and then put the bell back on. Then we just wait some more. So as far as I could tell, trout bites are incredibly light. Very gentle nibbles. I didn't even really know if he was hooked on until he started running, but very interesting. And that guy was a pretty big one too. I feel like surf perch fight harder in a different way. When you're handling trout, especially if you're gonna release them, if you're gonna touch them, make sure you don't use a dry towel or dry hands. Always wet your hands first. It's just to help keep the slime coat on them. You can definitely take them out of the water, use a rubber net. Try not to keep them out of the water for too long, just to make sure they have the best chance when you release them. And not gonna lie, I don't think I released that trout the best way I could. Since I don't have much experience with trout, I just was not confident enough. Do your best if you're gonna release them. At least make it the most comfortable you can for them. Hang a nibble. Oh, I think I got it. Nice, what is it? A bass. Nice, what type of bass is that? A large mouth. Nice, a really dinky one. So I caught this guy on the worm. Honestly, I didn't expect to catch this guy. We just put a worm on, I threw it out, and here we are. That was in the water for like 15 seconds max. Another fish for the day. There we go. 
A little dinky largemouth bass. They have a really large mouth. All right, let's let you on back. Thanks for playing, little guy. So here's the rig that Jesse has set up on this rod. It's just a size 10 hook with a little weight in the bottom. A simple drop shot. Let's see if we can catch another bass. Jesse and I have moved spots again. We're currently at the Silverwood Marina. So this is their little fishing dock area. You can buy a fishing pass for about $3 and then you can fish here. So the guy at the tackle shop said there's different hours between winter and summer on how long you can stay and fish at this little dock. I don't remember what he said, but that's something you can always double check when you get over to the tackle shop. I just dropped it down with some lugworm. I'd say maybe I'm like 10-ish feet off the bottom. We'll see if anything goes for that. Also, if you're ever going to just leave your rod laying around with some bait on it, loosen the drag like almost all the way, just so that if a big fish does come, it doesn't take the whole rod into the water. No luck at the dock. Jesse and I have moved yet again. We're gonna try this little cove over here. Got a little piece of cut anchovy. Maybe we'll get a striper, maybe we won't. Oh, we got one, we got one. I'm not gonna even take the bell off. Oh, this is on the anchovy. It's either a catfish or a striper. Catfish or striper, come on, let's go. You ready, Jesse? It's getting close. Do you see it? What is it? A catfish. A catfish. Let's freaking go. That's a nice one. I think. I don't know. I don't catch a lot of catfish. That's a nice one, dude. What type of catfish? Nice. Flathead? Uh, Channel? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, I don't know my catfish either. I'm literally just shouting out names right now. That's a nice catfish. Is it croaking? Yeah. Wait, that sounds so funky. Silly catfish boy. Look at that glorious mustache. I will figure out what catfish this is later. Good catfish. All right, finally caught a fish after, how long has it been since we caught anything? Many hours. I think it'll maybe like two or three. All right, the adrenaline's coming back. Let's catch another one. I don't know if we will, but I'm optimistic. This is a one inch piece of cut anchovy. It works for either catfish or stripers. He has caught a good amount of stripers with just a little piece of cut anchovy. Just hook it through the back of the spine, have it exposed, throw it on out. I know the catfish wouldn't be bad, but I really hope I can land a striper. Fun fact, I've never caught a striper before. There's actually a lot of fish I haven't caught before. Put the bell back on, and then it's just more waiting again. Sun's starting to go down. We'll probably leave in like an hour or so. I mean, it was very cold in the morning, so I can't really imagine how cold it'll be up here at night. Fun fact about catfish overall while we're at it, they will honestly eat almost anything. I've heard people catch them on bubble gum, hot dogs. They'll eat a lot of stuff. Oh, Jesse's on something. Good one. So this is power bait, but it feels like a catfish. Wait, that one's power bait? Yeah, I was going for trout with this one. Catfish? All right, looks like catfish will also go for trout power bait. I'm telling you, they eat almost anything. That's a good one too. That might be a little bit bigger than mine. Look at that catfish boy. Yeah, there it is. Look at that, a catfish on power bait. Super dinky hook. That's a size 10 right there for trout. Into the live well. Nope, I stand corrected. That guy is way bigger than mine. Let's freaking go. Catfish. Now all we're missing is a striper between the both of us. I think I got some more nibbles. It looks like it's wiggling. That's a fish. Here, I'll take the bell off this time. Oh no. It's kind of going a little to the right. You think he's on? Yeah, if it's moving to the right, then he's probably moving. Let me try reeling up a little bit, see if he fights back. Yeah, he's on. He's fighting back. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a really good one. No, oh, I'm gonna loosen the drag a little bit now. Let's freaking go. He's all the way to the right now. That is not where I cast it whatsoever. Dude, how big is that? Nice, let's freaking go. That's a monster. Look at that tank. How many pounds do you think he is? He's also like three, four pounds. On the anchovy. Look at that, guys. That's a chonky boy for sure. Massive catfish boy. Nice, look at that. Into the live well. Does it even fit? I don't know. He barely fits. That's the biggest catfish of the day.
Okay, now for sure, this is the last spot we're moving to. We got maybe like another hour of sunlight left. Can't really fish here when it gets too dark. Going for trial again. I already caught enough catfish. The stripers can wait, not a big deal. 